All right, from the preps to the pros, Cincinnati has a proud football tradition. One program couldn't count itself, though, among that pride. Cincinnati Christian University played just four seasons before punting on the program a year ago. Keenan Singleton has the story of the players and coaches who face fourth in long odds every day. Few items remain to indicate that this was once home to a football program. There's chalk to line the field, a goal post and a blocking shed on one side, a lineman shoot on the other. This patchy field of grass was actually quicksand to the players and coaches at Cincinnati Christian University. Players like former receiver Craig Wills, who has been back since the program folded back in November of 2019. I don't know, it brings back a lot of memories, especially like just seeing everything, but it's tough. The Eagles won just two of 41 games over four seasons of play. The 10 X CCU players and coaches WCPO 9 Sports interviewed all say their toughest opponent wasn't opposing teams, but rather their own school administration. From the minute I got there, the first thing that I understood about the place was it was school versus football. It was administration versus football every day. It was no chance you for receivers coach Kendall Roberts and the rest of the Eagles. You can see like it was no progress throughout the year. So like very quickly, like when you come on campus, you realize that that dream wasn't going to come true. It seemed everyone had a story to tell. Have you heard the quarter story? Have you heard about the games where we have to go work at Bengals games? It's hard to probably pick just one. From the beginning, football at the small former Bible college was a bad fit, says former head coach Trevor Ziders. You could tell they weren't comfortable. They didn't feel comfortable and it changed everything. There were racial undertones to the discomfort as well. Long snapper Scotty Gorsling played all four seasons and knew the color of his teammates' skin caused issues. At least 70% of our team was African-American, and it was, it was bad. They did not like it. There was a lot not to like about the practice field, too. From the size of it, it wasn't even a full 100 yards to the size of the potholes. It is um, topsoil on top of a landfill that they put cement on. Broke my foot on that practice field. I, I got to screw my foot right now in the middle. My foot got stuck in a hole and then it popped and then it was over. Injuries happen on the best of fields to the best of teams. Those teams, however, have professionals to care for those occurrences. CCU did not. In their final season, the school wouldn't provide a trainer for several games. Pray, pray that nothing happens to you. Pray that you're healthy. Pray that you heal. That, that's pretty much what it would have felt like. Those prayers were rarely heard. CCU lost their first 33 games.